For years, we've tested the Corvette against numerous exotic cars, but the VET always fell short, even after piling more and more horsepower with the 755 horsepower ZR1, it still can keep up with the exotic cars making less power. In 2019, Chevy moved the engine from the front to the rear, and that changed everything. They made their latest Corvette, the Z06, sound better than a Ferrari. Is the Z06 an exotic car, or even a supercar if it can beat one? Let's find out which is faster, the last of Lamborghini V10-powered exotic cars, the 640-horsepower Huracan Technica, or the latest from Chevrolet, the 670-horsepower Corvette Z06. Hey everybody, Brooks and Drag Times. We are out at Bradenton Motorsports Park with the Technica versus Z06. Z07 package, Justin just got it. Just tripped 500 miles, he had to take it off the trailer, then run around the block about for an hour, yeah, a get 500 hour. miles. That's my kind of running, yeah. right? Breaking in at the track. I've been running like 10 fives all day. I think it's gonna be pretty close because I think the last time we had a Z06 out here was running like 10 four to 10 six, but I don't think it was a Z07 package. So the arrow could slow you down a little bit. A little. Uh, and he's, so. in the, he's in the Corvette attire. He's oh, got yeah. the Z06, the jean shorts, and the New Balance shoes. <laughs> Let's give these things a run, let's see. Yeah. This is gonna be super competitive. First time, Technica rear wheel drive versus new Z06 with the Z07 package, let's go. All right, check out the rapid blue Z06 with the Z07 package. We got carbon fiber wheels. We got the nice white interior, carbon roof, carbon rear wing. This thing's awesome. Furcon Technica, blue Uranus. I don't have the carbon fiber wheels. I didn't even offer that on a Lamborghini, which is kind of crazy. You would think we could get some carbon wheels on a Lamborghini, right? Anyways, both crazy, crazy specs. And we're about to get these things out and on the track racing. All right, here we go. Technica versus new Corvette Z06. Now the Z06, this is a coupe with the Z51 package, carbon fiber wheels and everything. It's supposed to be a pretty good race. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's put it in sport, manual, ESC off so we can do a little dry hop burnout. Here we go. Nice. Now we're going down into Corsa mode. Have an ESC off so we can launch the car. Here we go. He red lighted. I'm walking him 161, but he red lighted. good looking car. The Z06 is known for launching really well, but for some reason, his car today, it's hooking but slipping and we can't quite figure it out. So you, you pulled up a little too far past the staging, that's why you red lighted, right? So when the bolt bulbs light up, you went a little far, which is fine, but then you gotta keep in mind, don't go on the last yellow. So just barely trickle that second stage bulb and then you're good to go. All right, man, let's do it. Oh my goodness, he's right. 
right there. That was a good time, 158. <laughs> with the Z06 on that run, but that was a really great run. What happened? You ran 10.5, 100%. Here we go. One five five sixty footer, that's a good one. go that's a record 10 45 in the quarter mile just now for the huracan technica wow this car is awesome you don't need all-wheel drive 10 4 lighter than the uh evo as well all right you made like i don't know 20 test passes <laughs> and the car's running like low 11s all day yeah we waited till the last run of the day and then all of a sudden he pulls she off a 10 5 run against my 10 5 run and it was like neck and neck. Yeah. I mean, that was awesome. I think you also did a 10.6. And yeah, my best pass to the today was a 10.45 at 131. And I think that's the quickest pass for a rear wheel drive Huracan ever. Wow. So I'm super happy with that. And uh, for you, I mean, it's great. I mean, you have the aero on this, so it's not gonna be as fast as the non-aero cars. Yeah. But you do have the carbon brakes and the carbon wheels. And I don't think we've been out with the drag strip with one of those yet. So uh, man, that was a lot of fun. We did like, I don't know, five or six passes. And at the end, I think we were neck and neck on the last two passes. Yeah. 10 five, 10 sixes. Man, that was a that was a lot of fun. A couple red lights, but you know, it's a okay. couple red lights. Yeah, yeah. We tried to keep the launches together, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot for coming out. Thank you, Brooks. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, help us be on the channel, and we'll see you next time.